So, you know how it is, you drop some serious cash on a new Apple device, and protecting it with Apple Care Plus feels like a race against a 60-day clock. But what if I told you that deadline isn't the real deadline? We're about to break down a fantastic little-known loophole that could give you a much bigger window to get covered. Let's get into it. Okay, picture this. You've got your new MacBook. It's amazing. You're in the zone. But life happens, right? And before you know it, you glance at the calendar and realize, oh no, you've blown right past that 60-day window for Apple Care Plus. You feel that little pit in your stomach. You missed your shot. Or did you? Okay, just take a deep breath. It's going to be all right. Because that 60-day rule you see plastered all over Apple's website, it's not the whole story. There's another way in, kind of like a secret back door that gives you a second chance to get that all-important peace of mind. So here it is, the secret sauce. Forget 60 days, you might have up to a full year, 365 days to get your Mac covered. The trick is simply knowing exactly where you need to go. Right, so here's how most people see it. Day zero, you buy the Mac. Day 60, boom, the door slams shut at the Apple store. But look at this. There's this unofficial second timeline that stretches all the way to day 365. The key here is that this extended window is only open at authorized service centers, not at the main Apple store itself. So where are these magical places? Well, this particular loophole was confirmed in Taiwan at specific authorized service centers, namely DE, Zonquen, and Studio A. And listen, this is crucial. It has to be their official service centers, not just a retail shop that happens to sell Apple products. That's your ticket to getting this done. All right, so you know the what and the where. Now for the fun part, the how. We're gonna walk through the exact process step-by-step step, based on a first-hand account from someone who did this successfully six months after buying their MacBook Pro. And you know what? The process is surprisingly simple. You can literally just walk in, no appointment necessary. First, they'll check your Mac serial number to make sure you're inside that one-year window. Then comes the inspection. They give it a really thorough visual check and run Apple's own diagnostic tools. As long as it passes, all that's left is to review the terms, sign on the dotted line, pay up, and you are officially covered. And this quote right here perfectly captures the experience. You might be a little nervous handing over your expensive machine, but the person who shared this story said the staff was incredibly meticulous. We're talking wiping it down, handling it gently. You really get the sense that they value your device as much as you do. Now to be super clear about the inspection, they're not gonna start taking your Mac apart or anything invasive like that. They'll take photos of it from every angle to document its current state and then run the official Apple diagnostics tool. But, and this is a big but, your Mac has to be in pristine, perfect condition. Any dings, dents, or even noticeable scratches will almost certainly get you disqualified right away. And maybe the best part of all, the whole thing is fast. Seriously, from the moment you walk in the door to the moment you walk out with full Apple Care Plus coverage, you could be done in about half an hour. It's unbelievably efficient. Okay, so you did it. You used the loophole, you got the coverage. High five. But what did you actually just spend your money on? Let's quickly break down what Apple Care Plus for Mac really gets you. Put simply, Apple Care Plus extends your Mac's warranty to a total of three years, and that's three years from its original purchase date, which is important. It covers two main things, hardware failures, stuff that just breaks on its own, and accidental damage, you know, the oops moments. So here's the difference. If your screen suddenly gets a weird line through it or a speaker blows out, that's a hardware failure. The repair is completely free. But if you're the one who causes the damage, you drop it, you spill coffee on it, you're still covered, but you'll pay a service fee. In Taiwan, that's somewhere between about 3200 and 9600 NTD, depending on what broke. This little table sums it up perfectly. You get unlimited repairs for accidents, which is just huge. It also covers your battery if it starts to degrade, and even the accessories that came in the box, like your power adapter. Now, what's not included? Purely cosmetic stuff, like a scratch that doesn't affect how it works. And it's definitely not insurance if your Mac gets lost or stolen. And this, this is where the value just smacks you in the face. Just look at the math. For this 16-inch MacBook Pro, the Apple Care Plus plan is a little under 13,000 NTD. But a single screen repair without it, you're looking at close to 30,000 NTD. You're paying less than half the cost of one potential disaster for three full years of protection. So all of this brings us to the big question, right? You know how to get it, 
you know what it covers, but when it all comes down to it, should you actually spend the money? I think this quote from the original source just says it all. I know I'm a very careful person, but an accident doesn't care who you are. And that hits the nail on the head, doesn't it? You can be the most careful person on earth, but stuff happens. A clumsy moment can turn into a crazy expensive repair bill. Apple Care Plus isn't just about the money, it's about buying three years of not having to worry. And really, that's what this all boils down to. Your Mac is a serious investment. It's a tool you rely on. So the final question isn't just about the price tag of the plan. It's about the value of just being able to breathe easy. How much is it worth to you to know that no matter what happens, you're covered?